Alright guys, beautiful day out here on a Saturday. Perfect day for my wideband to come in. What I'm going to be doing today is putting in the wideband and doing a little bit of tuning on this car and hopefully be able to drive it to the car wash. Haven't been driving this car in a long time. We'll see how far we get. Right now I'm going to box this real quick. Okay, now here it is in a smaller box than I anticipated. But um, as you can see, I paid 160 for this. It's the one with three digits, not four. But um, this is their newer one though. See, 30 0300. Now, in the box, first thing you see is a gauge. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyways. Up. Now inside, we get the wiring from the sensor to the gauge. It's pretty long. And then you get your Bosch sensor. Decent length, probably like a foot and a half. And then here's your wiring. You get a little O2 bong and some wire crimpers and some instructions and the most important your sticker of course and um, some advertisements. Cool. All right, now that I have everything, I'm going to start installing it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is put in the sensor. And I'm going to put it in this this hole here because it's going to provide a more accurate reading and uh, what's nice is it already comes with like some lube on it so that's nice of them, nice of them. I'm going to do one last inspection looks good I already cleaned out the threads on the downpipe so it should be good about here perfect and then I'm gonna have the other wire run from here to this hole in the firewall and then through the uh, interior now insulation insulation of the wideband is pretty simple um, you, you have the sensor right here with the single plug right here and then you take your the longer the longer wires right here that's just a plug to a plug don't take that one yet that one has a uh, you have to do some wiring right there but you take this one and just run it through like you would all right i ran the wires through the firewall and i zip tied it to these brake lines here so it's really clean you're not going to like swing around while driving and on the inside, I have it running through here, and then I wrapped it all up and zip tied it so it's out of the way of the uh, any of these pedals. You really don't want it to get stuck on a brake pedal, but you know, just make sure it's out of the way. All right, I got all these wired up, so I'm going to tape these and run this wire kind of more clean back there and then I'm going to start it up and see if it uh, works. Alright, got everything hooked up. Keys on. It says heat. Probably warming up or something. And yeah, we ain't no rookies. That's right. Alright, now I think it's ready. Alright, 
right, Ryan's off to mow the lawn. He'll be back, and in the meantime, I'll be, I'm gonna lean it out a little bit because it's running a 10 AFR, that's a little rich. So I'm trying to get the idle to be around probably 15. It should be fine, or 14.7, but I'm gonna target for 15. And um, probably clean it up a little bit. For now, I'll probably leave it because I just sort of want to get it running and then hopefully we can get it out the driveway through there, but we'll see.